Hello people, welcome to my react. Today I'll be reviewing the second album of the week. Last Seconds of Life, new album entitled Marcia Not Grata. Now, Last Seconds of Life are a down tempo slash death core beat down man, I guess you would say, from Mansfield, Pennsylvania. They've released five albums. This is the fall of the 25th, 2016's. Um, the Violent Sound. And I've been aware I didn't check it out because I didn't like the overall feel of what they were going for. Because I feel like they were going for a more like a metalcore kind of sound. If you listen to the little song The Drip and Little Black Line, they have like a metalcore kind of basic riff, which to me, I mean, I mean, I'm okay with clean vocals and deathcore, but it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a wavy thing of me. It's like, it has to fit the mood of the song or have clean vocals, I guess, for me. At least three singles for the song. Both were on, two of them were on Slam Worldwide, one was not. Uh, first, the Impossible Product, towards the end of the album, I feel like track nine in this album. And it shows they're going way back to like Deathy Corey route, which I'm glad actually, because I didn't like the violent sound as much as I thought I would. And. It's a decent song. Decent song. It's got a nice solo progression and it's an alright song. Same with Psychopernia, same thing almost. Decent song, decent solo in there. And it was the third song on the album. This is where I say they were going beat down with Sweet Chin Music. Now, Sweet Chin Music is an aggressive beat down. If you listen to it, it's like almost beat downish kind of way, and the lyrics kind of way. It's a good song. It's probably my favorite of all three of the songs released. This album is 14 tracks in length. Now, clocking in at about 52 minutes now, with 14 track albums, even with past 12, you got a whole lot of attention. Because if you're going for, if you're a beat down band, so I stuff corporate band, and you're going for a 14 track album, you got a whole lot of attention. I'm sorry. I mean, I, the only band that I've really done to, to do this and actually hold my attention was Tulsi Grin's Ash to Ashes. Now, it's actually really an album. But this album is actually a really good album. But there's one song to where I am still scratching my head. The song called Soul Erase. Now this song sounds like it deserves to be on the other album, Soul About Sound. Where in this album, in this one, it's not. This is the only one that has clean vocals in it, I guess, for me. And this song has a lot of clean vocals, a lot of weird melodies. Because towards the back half of this album, like, Machine Nagrata and these two, uh, and this one I'm talking about, had this weird vibe of, like, metalcore, like, clean vocals, and there's, like, Machine Nagrata, I think it's, like, an instrumental kind of song, I don't know. But, all in all, it's a good album, and it kept my interest for the latter part. And to keep this sound going, I'll be interested in to see what they're doing next. Maybe next down the road album. My top five favorite songs, Glory. Gory has a good like pump up kind of feel. It's intro and almost kind of thing. Um, Axe the Grind, good pump up song, decent, nice song. Uh, Gods slash Slaves. It took me a while to like this one actually, but it's a decent song. Jimmy Ground, second to last song of the album, really good song. And these guns are meant for shooting. And the score gives them 8.5 out of 10. Now, Next week, as I said, I'm reviewing Fever 333's album, Straight in Numbers, and Guillotine's review, EP review for Killings is the next torture review of the month. So, um, yeah, peace.